So, hello everybody. My name is uh, Trevor Sullivan, and when I was writing this thing, I was struggling for a minute to come up with a title, but then I came up with this title, which is Broccoli. Broccoli? Broccoli? <laughs> so, feel free to say that anytime I see it come up on the screen, but um, I'm just going to kind of go with it here. Uh, my name is Trevor, and I'm 31 years old. My daughter, Mabel, is three. She's amazing. Uh, the business that I own is about five years old, and I found out that broccoli is it. Uh, so this is kind of like a, this is how my brain works a little bit, so let's just go with it. Um, I was born and raised in a family of four, a lovely family of four. Uh, food was one of my earliest memories, and then I felt like Will Ferrell from Elf when I realized that. I was like, this is it. And then I went to high school, and I was kind of like, what is this now? And then Food Network was on TV all the time, and I started watching that. Religiously, and then guidance counselors were like, "Okay, what's next? Go to college, right? Where are you going to college?" And I just it was just like, uh, "I guess I'll just go with the flow." Went to college for business and entrepreneurship, which came in very handy later, um, and made my way around the rest of the way there. Uh, opened Pingala Cafe after I really started digging back into food. Um, came up to Vermont through the Long Trail and just started working in the Vermont food system. Open to make love, was always looking towards the future, and went to Arts Ride Truck Stop, and I saw opportunity there an enormous amount of opportunity to just let people know that Pingle was open. Um, it was the first vegan restaurant in Burlington. Um, and then I sort of kind of just felt like I could see opportunity there, and I was doing a lot of yoga and meditation at the time, so it was like, name it, what does it feel like, visualize it. And I always doodle and draw, so I started drawing this little broccoli guy, and that's kind of how this broccoli thing came into it. So I was like, broccoli, broccoli, broccoli. And um, uh, I built this little cart in my garage in like two weeks because I just wanted to have a presence at this really cool event that was going on. And then uh, I identified and adapted to like what was working because something with this broccoli thing was actually working. Um, that's like Michael Franti over there came up after every time we go to shows now he's there. Um, and then we sort of formatted it in this way where um, you can buy a large or a small and you just basically tell us what you want in your bowl and you can try anything that we offer, everything that we make. This is sort of kind of how it looks now. These are our menu items. That's just this big, beautiful bowl of broccoli and you don't feel like you're eating the broccoli the whole time. Um, but we just got, yeah, I mean, sticky rice, dumplings, decora, and then this started happening. And like at home events and away events that we were going to, we start going to festivals. That picture over there is from Summervale. There was lines, like we had the longest line. And it was like, why is this happening? Because this was just a weird idea about getting at truck stops so we could tell people about the cafe. And it was because broccoli, broccoli, broccoli. But then this, Concept went off in my head, or this idea went off in my head, light bulb went off in my head, and I was like, wait a second, there's a connection here between concept and values. So when I opened Pigla, I was kind of like Jim Carrey in the driver's seat, and I was like, hey, veganism is awesome, it's like such a good way to like really reduce your carbon footprint, and everybody get on board. Um, and then, fast forward very fast, and the broccoli bar sort of happened. So I realized that the concept, the business concept, is so important to be in the driver's seat of your business. Um, and the values that you can have it, that really truly drive your business, like Pingla, I love it, I wouldn't change a thing about it, but um, it's the values that like got me into that, and I'm grateful for that. But the, the values kind of sit nicely in the back seat because that's all that juicy stuff. And you really want to share and connect with as many people as you can on values, because that's why we're all in business. It's, it's to make a living and do, do these things, but real passion, real awesome, really passionate and really awesome businesses are in it for connection with people. So I guess I'm trying to speak from my experience and maybe we can find a connection here where uh, you want that guy on the left to be in your driver's seat, not the guy here in the middle. <laughs> And then you want to become and consumed by your ideas so you can let all that awesome passion and connection out because it's all about that in the middle there. That's Mabel, and the world really needs us as 
business owners and people of the community in general to really take your passion and, and make the world a better place and fuck. <laughs>